Well, James, I don't know about becoming part of the hyena clan, but we've had three adults now around the den. The two youngsters have just moved off. The adults looks like they have just decided to move, unfortunately. But let's see where they go. I've just gone around the back of the den. But such strange behavior by these hyenas. I really don't understand it a lot of the time. Oh, they're moving backwards and forwards. Hold on. Okay, now it looks like they're going back in the other direction. So I say, it's sometimes difficult to know where these animals are going to move. But let's see, wait. Slowly position here. Hello. Now the two adults. But they've been making a lot of noise and some interesting sounds. So that is really great for us. Now listen to these cubs, they've been squealing a lot. It appeared as if there was another male that arrived. It's interesting, there's a lot of strange interaction, a lot of submissive behavior. Um, the one, the one uh, adult was trying to pull the cub off the female, I think possibly to try and get to get to a tea to try and suckle, which, which is strange. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, fortunately, those youngsters are able to suckle now. Them sucking. <laughs> See, look at that. Now, that's what I thought that this this adult is potentially trying to suckle too, which is very strange behavior. I've never seen that before, and I'm surprised that this female allows it to. Well, it just shows you, we, I mean, we definitely don't have all the answers for everything and and um, we still see behavior out here that is strange to us that we've never seen before. I've never seen an adult hyena go and try and suckle while the cubs are suckling. Um, Tini keeps trying to pull <laughs> one little cub away. Looks like another one coming in. Oh, look at this. Now another one's just coming. <laughs> wow, listen to the sound. Listen, listen, listen. that hyena was crawling into the ground and that's so that sound can travel further those cubs are not happy at all with that adult being there so look at that they are still a bit nervous so these two are definitely nervous of those two this is really interesting interaction, everyone. This is amazing. Wow. And in situations like this, it's just great to sit and listen. Listen to all these sounds. Wow, 
this is really amazing. Listen, that youngster's trying to call like an adult. Let's see if these adults call again for us. And they're all around us. It is really amazing. Fascinating behavior. Now, these are large animals, they're not small at all. Um, and the sound, and to see them move around, this one's right at my door. Have a look here, it's probably a meter away, not even from me, just over here. I'm just leaning back so I'm not sitting in the camera frame. Hyenas do get very curious. You do have to be careful around the hyena though, because sometimes they'll. No hyena are so curious that they'll they'll nip at something if they don't know what it is. So if they do get too close, I'll tap the vehicle and then I'll just cause them to move off. Yeah, exactly. So everyone, you might all be wondering, just as I am, what is going on? Why are they making so much noise? So. Clearly this adult female, um, who I don't think is a very large female, um, there's another hyena off to my, to behind me. So there's a lot of hyena, all this calling, all this interaction and sound has probably alerted a number of hyena to come into this area. I, I don't know if they're all part of the same clan, it's unlikely that they would be around here. If they weren't part of the same clan, you can see there's a greeting, so they definitely know each other. Okay, okay, James, that's interesting. You say that no one's seen any other hyena here before. So this is potentially the first time that the rest of these hyenas have come in and met the cubs or that the cubs have met other members of the clan. That That is possibly what's going on here because these hyena all seem to recognize one another. But look, the whole clan has come in. But you see, these ones off here seem very nervous of these three. Especially this one. They seem very nervous of that one. So I'm not sure. I really don't know what's going on there. It's interesting behavior. I haven't seen this before. But look, there they go. <laughs> but the sounds are amazing. The sounds are amazing. Now... Generally what happens is with those cubs have entered back into the hole. So they're calling and shouting and running around in the distance just through the thicket. Wow, they've gone right down to the drainage line. Here comes another hyena. What was it? The fifth or sixth one now running down. Hang on. There it goes. There's the other one still in the road. Yeah, it sounds like they're right down in the drainage line at the moment. So as I was saying, there's always a lot of interaction with hyena. I know that. I know you have clans interacting. I know you have adults coming around the den. There's a, a, and the females are often nervous when males come around that they don't recognize, or even the ones they recognize. The females are generally larger than the males, but there's always competition going on, and there's always interesting clan behavior. Now, I'm not sure if these are all hyenas from the same clan, but I think all that calling, and there's been a lot of greeting, a lot of um, smelling and and grooming or cleaning one another. It's a very, very interesting behavior. Again, I wonder if we, if we completely understand interaction between these animals. Um, and if we get it wrong, I'm sure we get it wrong from time to time. We, I can tell you what I think's going on and what I've seen from what the behavior I've seen in the past. But often the hyenas get very excited when they do get to the dens because there are youngsters around. There are new youngsters in this den. 
Speaking of which, I'm actually going to leave this den now. It's starting to get dark. I don't want to draw too much attention. I don't want those cubs to come out with us being here if they're not completely comfortable. What an amazing, amazing sighting. Wasn't that incredible?